So tomorrow the G20 starts in Indonesia. Congratu congratulations to the President of Indonesia for taking it there and uh, for their great pay of line somehow, together, better together, whatever, whatever. That's not that, but anyway, it's a great pay of line and for having the wisdom to host the G20 at this time. And today, today, will be one of the most significant days in the history of our planet, even though we won't realize it. Because today, Joe Biden met with Xi Jinping. And for once in their lives, I mean, Xi Jinping, first of all, sort of was very cool, and held out an olive branch of peace and its stability for the whole world, and for China, for America, for everyone. And Joe Biden was gracious. God, I don't know how election factor in me away and he stepped up to the line he made the right noise he did what he had to do the two of these great leaders the most powerful people on earth have decided well hey man let's chill let's just talk about it. let's let's get it together which might not look that cool for uh, Russia and the Ukraine I mean although I think Xi Jinping was just out of it and America won't say anything about it. I'll just keep giving Russian to the pigmy. And that will carry on. Taiwan, their nose will be out of joint and their feathers will be a bit ruffled. But they too will recover. The world, please God, will return to normal. Such an amazing thing that these two people have that power that in their discussion they can define whether the world goes to war or there's a chance of peace and prosperity. Surely that's a bit of a weird system, and what does that mean for us? Well, first of all, it means we're not really worth that much, doesn't it? And more importantly is the ripple effect, I mean this whole butterfly effect, that when a butterfly f flaps his wings in Japan, tsunamis have done in uh, Dakota, I'm not quite sure, but quite far away. There are ripples that go, and the ripples from Europe, from Ukraine, are still going to come down. That, that's a long way from over. That war is a long way from over. Either way, thank God China's not going to be involved with China, and America's not going to be involved. Because that was a bad one, hey. Uh, um, but Ukraine, there's still, I mean, the only answer there is peace, surely. I mean, sitting around, and these people went to Muri, and the pygmy, God no. <laughs> And I will thank God now he's wanting to talk if that plays game. But hey, guys, people are dying still. Grow up and save your people. That's the priority of a country is the good, the peace and prosperity of the people, not the flag, for fuck's sakes. Anyway, for us here, just something I was thinking about the other day. They say in relationships, you should have a maximum of one negative, bad, shitty encounter to five good encounters. And with all this tension all over the world, how has that changed? Are people fighting with each other more than five to one? Five good experiences with your partner or in a relationship to one bad one. And all of a sudden things start feeling pear-shaped because they say beyond that a stat, a stat, things fall apart, your relationship does. But maybe if you are firefighting more, it's important to think, like, how do you feel about the world? How do you feel about yourself? How do you feel about hanging on to what you've got, your family? And make that choice. Think about how important that is. And maybe look at your circumstances that we're living in that are influencing on our behavior with each other. And try and make the necessary adjustments. In other words, be cool, be nice, and be friendly. And let's make the world a better place. Have a cool evening.